Okay, right here is a 1991 ONK RH120C. The RH120C was first introduced by ONK at the Bama Trade Show in Munich, Germany in 1983 and displayed one of the company's finest designs, which helped establish the RH120C as the world-class market leader in the 200-ton hydraulic excavator class. Now, let's go and get a closer look at this legend. Available from O&K in either backhoe or front shovel configuration, depending on what the customer preferred, the RH120C was designed to swing a rock bucket ranging from 11.8 to 23.5 cubic yard capacity in backhoe configuration and swing a bull clam ranging from 13.8 to 23.5 cubic yard capacity in front shovel configuration. The RH120C was the second hydraulic excavator introduced by O&K to feature tri-power linkage technology on the machine's front shovel attachment, which was probably one of O&K's greatest engineering achievements. Let's take a look at what the tri-power linkage is, and I'll explain how it works and what it does for the machine. The tri-power linkage consists of two rotating triangular pieces of cast steel, each mounted on both sides of the shovel boom, one of which you can see right here, and the other is on the opposite side. And connected to them are the bucket cylinders, the boom cylinders, and the tri-power link rods. What this does is it helps keep the digging geometry of the bucket at a constant position throughout the entire digging cycle, which gives the machine up to 50% more crowd force by allowing the use of four cylinders instead of two to increase the force applied to curl the bucket, which thus helps prevent reverse spillage and increases bucket fill factor by as much as 115% in certain applications. Additionally, the tri-power link rods transfer all the forces generated from the digging cycle down to the front of the machine's superstructure. This action forces the front of the excavator downward, which helps prevent the shovel from being pushed backward during crowding motion. The tri-power linkage was tested throughout 1981 and was officially introduced into the market in 1982 with the introduction of the model RH-40C. And on the side of the stick, you can see where it says, Owen K Tri-Power. The RH120C measures 20 feet 6 inches tall from the ground to the top of the operator's cab and 20 feet 4 inches wide. Now let's go up on top of the RH120C. Okay, the RH120C was designed as a twin-engine excavator. Each diesel engine on this machine drives its own gearbox and set of three axial piston hydraulic pumps, which consist of two main pumps, each rated at 133 GPM to power the front attachment and travel, and one swing pump rated at 102 GPM to power the closed-loop swing circuit. The RH120C is powered by twin Cummins KTTA19C inline six-cylinder diesel engines that work together to produce a total combined output of 1180 horsepower for this machine. And directly ahead of the engine, you can see one set of hydraulic pumps. Now down inside of this compartment is the electronic room. Let's go inside and check it out. 
Okay. Inside of this metal box that you see mounted on the side of the wall here, this is where all the computers, relays, and electronics are located to work the machine. And in the front, you can see all the red canisters for the fire suppression system. Here you can see the two axial piston swing motors, which feature torque control for minimal energy consumption during acceleration and energy recycling during braking. Mounted in between the engines sits a 793-gallon hydraulic oil reservoir tank, which you can see right here. Here you can get a good view of the machine's hydraulic system. On the opposite side of the machine, you can see the second set of hydraulic pumps. And in the back is the second Cummins diesel engine. Located on the right side of this machine are the oil coolers, which are right here. There are two of these, and they are mounted side by side and this is what cools the hydraulic oil on the shovel. Here you can see where all of the hydraulic hoses run out to the main valve block on the back of the boom to power the front attachment. And here you can see where the shovel boom pins to the superstructure on the machine. Okay, this is the top deck of the RH120C. And as you can see, this machine has two sets of air intakes and air cleaners mounted on each side of the machine, one set for each diesel engine. This is the top of the hydraulic reservoir tank. And in the back here is the grease tank for the central lubrication system. Okay, now down here, On the side of the hydraulic oil tank, you can see the gauge to show the operator or mechanic how much hydraulic oil is inside the tank. And this gauge will change depending on the temperature that the machine is running at. In the back here, you can see the batteries for the machine. And here you can get another good view of one of the Cummins diesel engines. Okay, now let's go inside the operator's cab. Here you can get a good overview of the operator station on the RH120C. Okay, the two joysticks that you see on the right and left side control all the digging functions of the front shovel out in front, or if the machine were set up as a backhoe. The two foot pedals that you see on the floor control the travel functions on the shovel. And off to my right side, you can see the control panel with all the switches, warning lights, and gauges that will monitor the entire machine when it's in operation. And from here, you can get a crystal clear view of what the operator would see if he were running an RH120C. From underneath here, you can get a good view of the two axial piston travel motors, one on each crawler frame, and this is what will propel each individual track. 
and you can see where the hydraulic lines run from the motors through the car body of the machine and then up to the hydraulic system to power the motors. And on the back of the machine's counterweight, you can see where it says O and K. And you can see the grooves on the right and left side of the counterweight for the engine radiators. Mounted below each diesel engine alongside the superstructure is a 462 gallon diesel fuel tank. The two tanks supply this machine with a combined total of 924 gallons of fuel. O&K also offered the RH120C with optional electric power for customers who preferred an electric hydraulic machine powered by a single 900 kilowatt electric motor. And the overall operating weight of the RH120C in front shovel configuration as you see right here can range anywhere from 241 to 246 tons. In backhoe configuration, the overall operating weight of the RH120C can range anywhere from 240 to 245 tons. In December of 1997, O&K announced it would sell its mining excavator division to Terex Mining Incorporated, and by early 1998, the deal was complete. The following year, in late 1999, O&K launched the new RH120E as the successor to the older RH120C, which was discontinued that same year. The new RH120E featured many upgrades and improvements over the older RH120C, such as an increase in bucket capacity, an increase in operating weight, and an increase in power achieved from new engine configurations. And when O&K was marketing their hydraulic excavators, one of the catchy little slogans the company liked to use was, you're okay with O&K. And with the RH120C, the world-class market leader in the 200-ton hydraulic excavator class, you were okay.